Hey guys, it is Jenna, what is up? And welcome back to the board game garden and happy spring. It is officially spring and I cannot wait for this dang snow to be gone. Let me just tell you, here in Canada, it at one second seems like it's pretty much done and then it starts snowing again. So yes, anyways, um, today I'm going to be doing a five course board game night. So I've done one of these before and I call it the board game menu series where basically I give you guys a whole menu of board games that you could play in one night kind of to all follow some sort of theme. And the theme for today's board game menu is obviously spring. So I'll be taking you guys through all five of the courses starting with hors d'oeuvres, moving into appetizers and then salad and then main course, which I do have two options for the main course, and then dessert. So if you guys wanna see this five course board game meal, then just keep on watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. Also comment down below any other themes that you guys would wanna see me do a board game menu on. I'd love to know. And hit that subscribe button if you've yet to do so. We'd love to have you here in the garden. And without further ado, let's get into this board game menu, shall we? All right, so starting with the first course, that is hors d'oeuvres. This is a great board game to start off the night, something kind of simple, lighthearted, doesn't take too much focus, but really gets your brain working. So the hors d'oeuvre that I chose for the spring menu is this little game right here. This is called Downtown Farmer's Market. It is published by Blue Orange Games and is designed by Johan Benvenito and Alexandre Droit, I believe. And this game is a fantastic puzzle. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like a Sudoku puzzle where you're trying to get things in rows and columns, but it is a purely drafting game where you have this grid that you're filling in with um, tiles and you're drafting a tile on your turn and then putting it into, I believe it's a four by four grid and each line and each column have different goals that you're trying to achieve. So all of these tiles have different produce products on them. They have eggs and milk and cheese, um, bread, corn, carrots, and I believe one other vegetable, maybe not, there might just be the two vegetables. Um, but yes, you're trying to arrange these tiles in a specific manner to try to get all of these objectives. It is so much fun. And I feel like this would be a great one to start off the night with, get everyone's brains going, um, just because it is quite brain burny and it is pretty quick. You're just taking a tile, next person, taking a tile, next person, and it's over pretty quickly. I believe it says that it is, um, how long does it take? 20 minutes. So this is a fantastic one to just start off the night. Um, but yes, that is downtown farmer's market because obviously in the spring, we start going to farmer's markets and I'm just gonna say now that I really want to start going to more farmer's markets because I feel like it would be a lot of fun. So yes, that is course number one. Moving into the next course, which is an appetizer. This is going to be, I would say like your second heaviest of the night, something that's a little bit heavier that you can move into for your second game after your first quick one, um, but it's not quite as heavy as your main course and something again to just build up to your main course. So the game that I chose, some people might think that this is more fall, but let me let me explain my choice. So my appetizer is going to be Three Sisters. This is one that I've talked about quite a bit, um, but this is a crunchy roll and write. Yes, crunchy, um, about gardening. And a lot of people look at this game and think automatically fall just because of the pumpkins on the front but the game is about gardening and typically when you plant um, pumpkins to grow for fall, it is in the springtime. So yes, that is why I chose Three Sisters. You're going to be gardening, which is perfect for the springtime, which much like going to the farmer's market, I really wanna start gardening more this spring. I always tell myself I wanna do all these things, but it never happens, but we'll see. And this is the second roll and write in the trilogy of Roll and Writes from Motor City Games as well as 25th Century Games. And this one is all about gardening, like I said, and you're going to be um, gardening corn, pumpkins, and beans. So those are like the three sisters. Apparently they, they grow well together. Um, but yes, this is a fantastic Roll and Writes, probably one of my favorite Roll and Writes and probably the reason why I've talked about it so much here on the channel. Um, but you are going to be drafting dice 
um, someone is going to roll the dice uh, at the beginning of the round, and those dice are going to be placed onto this rondelle, and the number that is rolled is kind of determining where it's going to be placed on the rondelle. You're going to be putting it in um, ascending order on the rondelle, and then everyone is going to be choosing or drafting a die, and the number on the die is the um, garden. What are they called? Section of the garden, I guess, but that is where you're going to be planting, and then where you took your die from, there's actually an additional action that you get to use, um, which could be watering those plants that you just um, planted, or doing something in your tool shed, or going to the um, like fruit trees, a bunch of different things that you can do based off of the dice um, placement on the rondelle. And you're just going to be continuing this. It is very combo-y, which I absolutely love. Um, and it is just a fantastic roll and write that I definitely recommend if you are someone that likes gardening, that kind of theme, and wants a, you know, roll and write themed around that. I definitely think this is the way to go. But yes, that is my second game or second course, the appetizer, that is Three Sisters. Now, once we are finished with the appetizer, it is always nice to have a refreshing salad or something in between meals to cleanse your palate for the main course. So the next course is going to be salad. And this one I thought was a very funny pick because it's very, oh, you know what would have been an even better one? Point salad. Point salad would have been a great one for this because it's salad, but I think I might have chose that for the last board game menu. It just works out perfectly. But this one is the second best option, and that is Bites, which is a game all about um, having a picnic. And when do you have picnics? In the spring. Um, so Bites is by BoardGameTables.com or now All Play, and it is designed by Bridget Ditt and Wolfgang Ditt. Oh, I think they might be husband and wife, maybe? Possibly? Um, but yes, that's awesome. Uh, Bites is a pretty simple, just cute, lighthearted game, um, perfect for this salad course, um, where basically you have this path of different tiles that are fruits and vegetables and cheese and bread and wine and different things and you're trying to do a little bit of a set collection and on your turn you're going to be moving one of the i believe there's five different ants and each ant is a different color that corresponds with a specific um you know piece of food so there could be a yellow ant that represents the cheese, and there's a red ant that represents the apples. Um, so you're going to be choosing one of these ants to move. Um, I believe you can move it to the next one of that corresponding, and then you can pick whatever is behind or in front of the tile that you moved the ant to. And then you're going to pick that up and place it in front of you. Like I said, there's a little bit of set collection. There are some like special abilities that you can use with the I believe there's chocolate as well. Um, chocolate and wine. It's been a bit since I've played this, um, but it is fantastic because it comes with a bunch of different cards for both the chocolate and the wine um, with different special abilities. I also just recently got one of the expansions called New Recipes, which I would love to try soon. So this is definitely going to be hitting the table soon. Um, but yes, it is just such a fun little set collection game. Whichever ants actually reach the end go on to different levels of the ant hill. And depending on the card that you choose at the beginning, again, the replayability of this game is great because you are choosing, I think, three different cards every single game that are going to be completely different combinations of different things throughout the game. Um, but depending on the card that you have for the ants, um, so for example, the card might be that if the ant reaches the end first, it's actually the lowest amount of points. Whereas another card would be, you know, the first ant to get to the end is actually the highest amount of points. So depending on the items that you have in front of you and the ants that reach the end in a certain order, you get points for those. And then whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins. And yes, that is Bites. I definitely recommend looking into it. I think the packaging for Bites has been updated since this one, but I absolutely love this like picnic blanket design. Um, I am kind of sad that they changed it, but I understand this is a little bit bland in a way, but I just love picnic blanket plaid patterns. So anyways, yes, that is Bites. And that is the third course. That is the salad. 
Moving into the main course. So I actually could not choose between two games. So we have two options for the main course, which is kind of nice. You know, you get to choose which main course you want to eat. Um, kind of like when you get invited to a wedding and you get to choose which meal you want. Um, but anyways, the first main course I have is a game plus a expansion, which Francis and I just recently played this one and I will be talking about it more in the um, monthly wrap up next week. But the first main course is going to be dun 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 dun, dun Meadow, specifically with the downstream expansion. So Meadow is a card drafting tableau building game where on your turn you have a bunch of different little picket fence tiles that you're going to be slotting into a main board and wherever you slot that on the main board determines which card you can take from either a row or a column and then you're going to be placing one of your cards from your hand into your tableau and the fun thing about this game is that you have to have the prerequisites for cards in order to place them. So a card might say that you already need to have a flower icon and a bird icon showing in your tableau. So in order for you to place that next card, you have to have both of those icons showing in your tableau. So it does take a lot of planning and I really enjoy the puzzle of trying to get the most points for placing these different cards into your tableau. And with the downstream expansion, it actually adds on another board, which is the stream. And I figured this would be a great choice to have along with this for the main course because it makes it a little bit more of a heavy game um, just because it gives you more options for what you're doing, where you're placing your little picket fences and what you're placing into your tableau. Um, but yes, also in the spring, you go on hikes and you go to the um, stream, the river, <laughs> I guess. Um, but yes, this adds a stream board where you're going to be moving your boat. Um, basically on cards, when you place them into your tableau, they're either going to have um, victory points or it's going to have little or icons and those are going to represent your movement on the stream board. So you're going to be able to move and get additional rewards based off of where you land or where you pass on the stream board. You can also have water cards in your tableau um, and it is just absolutely fantastic. The art in this game is so amazing and I figured because of all of the nature and building out your meadow and having the stream it just it just really represents spring to me so that is why this is the first option for the main course meadow with the downstream expansion and then next up for the second option for the main course we have a big boy so this is this is more of a heavier game and definitely one that you would bring to the table if you wanted a bit more of a heavy game, a more challenging game. Definitely takes up a lot more time than Meadow does, but that is Arc Nova, which I haven't talked about Arc Nova a ton here on the channel, a ton. But I figured that you guys have heard so much about this game because it is hyped up so much, but I do really enjoy Arc Nova. I've been playing it a few times on BGA recently because it just became available for, um, I think it's like Alpha on BGA. So not a ton of people can try it so far, but then eventually it'll move into beta where you can try it and then it'll be you know a permanent thing on BGA. But anyways, Arc Nova, I decided to choose for another main course because in springtime, the zoo's open and what do you do? You go to the zoo because the weather is nice and people want to see the animals. <laughs> so Arc Nova, again, much like Meadow, um, but it is a little bit heavier, is a tableau building game with a little bit of tile placement, some really cool action selection mechanisms as well. Um, but you are building out your own zoo. You are getting different animal cards of animals that you can get or put into your zoo. You're placing down tiles for enclosures for those animals. Um, you're doing different sponsorships and um, like association actions. So I guess that's like you working with different universities um, and partnerships with different countries and stuff like that. Um, it is a little bit of a heavy game to explain right off the bat, but it is very fun if you are looking for something that is a little bit heavier. Um, the theme is absolutely amazing. 
The card art is a little bit meh, I don't love it, but uh, the game is good enough that I am willing to look past the awful art. So yes, that is the second option for the main course. That is Arc Nova. I do quickly want to add that I really want to try Arc Nova solo soon. So if you are not following me over on Twitch, I definitely recommend that because you'll be seeing a solo playthrough uh, live stream of Arc Nova very soon. And then for the last course, we have dessert. So for me, dessert is something to just finish off the night. Um, something that is obviously a lot lighter, um, just really nice to play and a good ending to a night. So what I decided to choose is this wonderful little game right here. That is Floriferous. This is published by Pencil First Games. And this is again, a little bit, no, it's not really a tableau building game. It's a, I, I guess you could consider it tab, no, no, it's not tableau building. <laughs> It is more of like a set collection game, I guess, um, but you are moving your piece along these cards. And the really cool thing about this game, I really enjoy this, is the fact that um, you're going to be moving along columns. You're going to be going from column to column and wherever you place your little meeple in that column of cards determines the player order or the placement order for the next column. So for example, if you really wanted to have first choice on the next round, you would want to put your meeple on the top card, you would get that card, and then you would place it, I guess, in your tableau, your set collection area um, of different flowers that you're collecting for different reasons. Also at the bottom, there are different objective cards, so you can place your meeple at the very bottom. You would go last on your next turn, but you do then get an objective card, which is how you're gonna be getting your points. So I really, really enjoy that decision of like, do I want one of the top cards? Do I want one of the middle cards to determine where you're gonna be able to place or when you're gonna be able to place on the next turn? So you're gonna be gathering different flowers in order to make bouquets, um, in order to get these different objectives, um, getting rocks and stuff to mitigate different things. I love this game. I've also played it solo and it's great solo. Uh, but yes, that is Floriferous, the dessert course. I believe there's a puppy joining me. Mr. Walt, hello, sweet boy. Did you wanna come say hi to everybody? I don't think you've been here on the channel. Come here, sweet boy. This is Walt. Are you camera shy, bud? This is where mama films. <laughs> okay, you're gonna stay here while I end the video? Okay. Anyways, friends, that is going to be everything for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, like I mentioned in the intro, leave some comments down below of other five course meal themes that you want to see. I'd love to know. If you're not subscribed already, definitely hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you here in the garden. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I love you so much. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile and I will see you in the next board game video. Bye friends. What's that? What is this place? Hmm? What is, what is going on here? <laughs> what is this place? Huh. This is where mama films. Yeah, it's pretty cool, eh? Um, no, you're fine. <laughs> oh, our dogs. <laughs>